Well, hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I have an exciting topic for all you ambitious learners out there. How to secure a 100% scholarship and fulfill your dream of studying at the prestigious university, MIT. Yes, I'm Shirish Gupta and I'll be your guide through this journey. So without further ado, let's get started. MIT is a private university known especially for technology courses. If you want to be in the science and technology field, it is highly likely that MIT is top of your list. It was established in 1861 as a private land-ground research university. It has been contributing to the new technology field for as long as its existence. Many professors and students have discovered many technological innovations that we use in our day-to-day -day life without even knowing that this is originated in MIT campus. Fun fact, MIT is known for its rich history of clever and often elaborate pranks. These pranks referred to as hacks are not meant to cause harm, but rather to showcase creativity and engineering prowess. For instance, in the past, students have placed unusual objects on top of the iconic MIT Great Dome, like a life-size police car and even a fire truck. These pranks are the test statement to the inventive and playful spirit that thrives within MIT community. Fun, right? In this particular video, we will be discussing about various scholarship opportunities you will be getting at MIT and how to take advantage of them. If you want to know about academic life, social life, and expert tips and strategies, to get into MIT, you can check out my other video of MIT admissions. All right. Before we even start the application, it's essential to understand MIT thoroughly. Research the programs and opportunities they offer, their culture, values, and what makes them unique. This will help you tailor your application to align with MIT's expectations. Now, MIT requires several components for your application. Being an institute of this stature, obviously, a good academic score is a must. Now, high academic scores along with good standardized test scores, letters of recommendation, and your overall profile is very important. A strong academic foundation greatly enhances your scholarship application as well. Now, MIT appreciates well-rounded individuals. So highlight your accomplishments, leadership roles, extracurricular activities, and any projects you have undertaken. Showcase your passion and dedication. Make sure your resume shows all that you have accomplished at various levels in your journey as well. Okay, now let's look at the financial aid and scholarships. Now, before we get into basics of scholarships, let me break it down the finances for MIT for you. Now, for international students, it lies somewhere between $80,000 to about $90,000, including tuition, housing dining, insurance, and miscellaneous costs as well. So, as you can see, it's very well imagined. It's very expensive for any student for that matter. Now, let's talk about basics of scholarship now. Scholarships usually are of four different kinds. Merit-based, which is actually dependent on your academic and overall profile. Second is need-based, dependent on your financial conditions. Department awards like fellowship awards, study abroad awards, and other department-specific awards. And then the last one is the third-party source, which is an external source like college board, scholarship.com, and all. These are the four main types of scholarships. Now, MIT, scholarships are awarded based on financial need rather than the merit. MIT is committed to meeting a full demonstrated financial need for admitted students, regardless of their economic background. This means that if you are accepted into MIT and your family demonstrates a financial need through the financial aid application process, MIT will work to provide the necessary financial aid to make attending university affordable for you. Now, all students who apply for financial aid and fill out the CSS profile, they are automatically considered for MIT scholarship. So any international student, you need to do CSS profile. The scholarship can originate from various sources, including endowment, contribution, dedicated MIT alumni and supporters, as well as general MIT funds. Now, as per the statistics, significant portion of students, which is approximately 50 58% benefits from MIT scholarships. Notably, average MIT scholarship is about $53,000, which is amazing. The next question I'm sure that you must be thinking is how to apply? Well, applying for financial aid can be complicated. So MIT has broken it down to make it a bit easier. Before MIT can decide what your financial aid award looks like, they need to know what your financial situation is. To do this, they use two documents that paint a dedicated picture of what kind of aid you will need to be able to attend MIT affordably. Now, here are the two steps to apply for aid. First is your CSS profile. Now, a tool provided by College Board that a lot of universities they use to determine if you qualify for a need-based aid at MIT. Second is parental tax returns or income documentation. So your parents' tax returns or income documentation must be submitted through the College Board Secure iDoc platform. If your parents live outside of the US, you need to provide the tax returns from your country along with the translation of English if applicable. Now, the financial aid process at MIT takes into account various factors, including your family income, assets, and other financial circumstances. So it's important to note that MIT is need blind during the admission process, which means that your financial need will not impact your chances of being admitted. 
Now, these can also be a combination of grants, work study opportunities, or loans like MIT technology loans that are subjected to repayment also. Now, upon receiving an MIT scholarship, the college gets the student to fill up an annual student information review form. This enables them to match you with the most suitable scholarship from the appropriate donor. Now, often these donors take an active interest in learning about scholarship recipients and they may request you to express your gratitude by writing to respective donor as well. Now, apart from MIT scholarships, there are alternative scholarships and grants as well. So I wanna talk a little bit about that also. Scholarships and grants stand as form of financial assistance that do not require free payment. In addition to MIT scholarship, undergraduate students and postgraduate students may be eligible for scholarships and grants from external sources, whether governmental or private. There are also something called federal grants. Now, when you submit your annual financial aid application, you'll be automatically considered for a federal grant process. Now, this is predominantly for US-based students. So if you meet the criteria, these grants will be factored into your financial aid package. So MIT oversees the administration of four basic types of federal grant program. These are Federal Pell Grant, Federal Supplemental Education Opportunity Grant, Teacher Education Assistance for College and Higher Education Grant, Iraq and Afghanistan Service Grant. So these are all predominantly for US citizens. External scholarships and grants. Now, numerous private scholarships are available for individual application as well. MIT regards external scholarships as supplementary resources that can contribute to reducing your covering your students' contribution. When calculating a financial aid, they assess all available resources within your family. External scholarships are classified as such. Now, any external scholarship initially serves to decrease your student contribution. If an external scholarship amounts to about, let's say, $5,000, the surplus will be deducted from your MIT scholarship. However, an external scholarship cannot substitute the parental contribution. If you intend to seek private scholarships to offset your student contribution, well, the university recommends utilizing the following resources. Keep in mind that you should never pay for a scholarship search service. Additionally, consider reaching out to groups or organizations you have affiliations with to inquire about potential private scholarships. Now, some of the recommended resources to start your research as per the universities are collegeboard.org, fastweb.com, scholarships.com, unigo.com, and then studentscholarshipsearch.com. Now, you need to note one thing. They all have their own eligibility procedure and application procedure, which will require individual research on their respective scholarship programs. If you need any help getting into MIT with scholarships, make sure to contact us and my team can help you with the scholarships as well. Now, procedure upon receiving a private scholarship or grant. Now, on receiving these grants, you need to submit the outside award reply form that enables MIT to update your financial aid award according to the new circumstances. So in summary, financial need and resources are the key factors for receiving scholarships at MIT. And the university is dedicated to making an MIT education accessible to students from all financial backgrounds. So if you are a postgraduate student, there are many department-wise scholarships available for you. So I would highly recommend you to check out your department and see what all scholarships are available for you. There are many scholarships that can help you study for absolutely free as well. I've attached all the links that are required for you in my description box so you can actually check out and see how you can study at MIT. Okay, so there you have it. A comprehensive guide on securing full scholarship to MIT. Remember, this journey demands dedication and hard work, but with determination and well-crafted application, you can make your dreams a reality. Now, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more insightful content. Wishing you best of luck for your path of MIT and beyond. Remember, I'm with you, for you on this beautiful journey. Take care.